So today's practice will need some kind of a strap. So a dog leash, a towel, whatever, whatever works. And blocks if you have them, and a blanket would be helpful. So today's practice, we're going to encourage heart opening postures and poses and hip opening as well. So heart and hip openers to help with our heart chakra and we'll also continue to move through poses that encourage lymphatic drainage and move the lymph fluid through our body. So congrats on making it this far and I hope you enjoy the practice. So we'll begin sitting on our mat, sitting up nice and tall. And we'll just tune into how we're feeling in this moment. What can your breath tell you about how you're feeling? Is your mind jumping from one thought to the other or is it here and still? Beginning this meditation with acceptance and the hope for a feeling of self-love throughout the whole body. So allowing your mind to slip away when it does, when it thinks about other things, that's okay. It's our mind's way of saying, hey, this is what's going on. This is what you forgot about. This is what you need to do. And that's perfectly normal and that's what we need throughout the day but during our yoga practice and our meditation we're starting to train the mind to just be still thanking the mind for doing its job but allowing it to say you can take a break now so just focus on the breath inhaling through the nose and exhaling letting it go so, so far in this journey, we have practiced a lot of mantras and meditations and breathing techniques to calm the body down. But today I want to encourage a practice that will help to energize and warm the body. So it's called the fire breath. So we'll begin with placing our hands on our abdomen. Take a big inhale through the nose. And then short breaths of air through the mouth. So each time you exhale, the inhale happens automatically, and each time you exhale, the belly sucks in real quick. So we begin three rounds of 10, and as you feel more comfortable, you can increase the amount of breaths you do it. So inhale through the nose, and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And then rest your hands down. Close your eyes. Notice if that gave you a little spark of light of energy to begin your practice. Palms come together in heart center. Create an intention, maybe it's the same intention all along these chapters. It's something that you need today. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Inhale, lifting up. This time, flipping the palms, push the air away, coming all the way down. Three more times like that. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, push the air away. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, push the air away. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push away. Good. Inhale, our arms rise. Big beach ball, lean back. And then hands come down to heart center as we begin our manual lift drainage. Crossing the hands over the chest, palms flat. Bring the hands up. 
lengthen in. Stretching the skin, light pressure about 15 times. Stimulating all the lymph nodes in this area around your clavicle. And then coming up to the neck, all fingers together, coming up, back and down. So you're encouraging the fluid to move down, to be filtered right here. Stimulating all the nodes. Coming back to the chest. Sometimes the fingertips will graze over the clavicle or find a little divot in the clavicle and that's okay to add a little bit of pressure on the fingertips to stimulate the nodes that are a little bit deeper above and below the clavicle. Then cross the arms over to our shoulders and massage the shoulders. and then back to the chest. So good for you to do before your practice so you can clear all of the fluid that's being filtered. You can encourage the filtration of the fluid through the node so that when we move the body, the fluid can easily pass through. So we'll inhale, reach our arms up, bend the elbows, draw the elbows down. Inhale, lift up, Clench the fists and draw them down. So getting the muscle pumps, getting everything moving, especially with upper extremity lymphedema, you want to move that fluid. You want to engage and contract the muscles through the skin stretch, through the muscle contraction. You get the fluid pumping. So you're doing great things for your body. Good, once more. Hands come to the knees, inhale, chin and chest forward, and then exhale, chin comes down, round the spine, extend the arms. Hands come back to the knees, peel yourself forward, lift the chin and the chest, opening up through the heart chakra, and rounding through. Engaging our core helps to stimulate all the lymphatic nodes in our abdomen. And then as we rock back and forth, we're compressing and releasing the inguinal nodes right here at our hips. Take three more, maybe closing your eyes, feeling into this, massaging the spine, allowing it to feel really good. And then back to center. Let's draw our body over the right knee, center, left knee, back and around. Big circles through the body. Good for digestion, good for energy, blockage in our core. And then reverse the circle. And then coming back to center, we'll draw our chin down towards our chest and then lift the chin up slightly. Back to center, look over the left shoulder, center right shoulder, and back to center, good. Then we'll come up onto all fours. So this would be a really good spot if you want to grab a blanket and pad the knees. And then either coming into all fours or down onto the forearms. If you have upper extremity lymphedema, coming down to the forearms might feel better so that the wrists are free and that you can continually pump. And we'll begin cat and cow here. So if you're on just the hands, spread the hands wide, drop the belly, lift the chin up. And exhale, round through, looking down at the knees. Inhale, drop the belly, the chin rises. Exhale, round 
exhale, the back of the heart puffs up. So if you're on your forearms, continue this three more times. The forearms, you have a little bit less of a, of a rounding of a motion, but you still can pull your head through. Take one more like that. And then we'll start to extend our right leg back, shift the weight back and forth. And then lifting the leg towards the sky, one long line of energy from the heel all the way to the head, looking down. And then rolling that right ankle around. And then engaging the core, kind of lifting through the belly, finding strength, and we can extend the left arm, thumb up towards the sky. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, find a little bit more length. Exhale, one more breath, staying strong. Inhale, and then exhale, releasing down, releasing the knee, releasing the hand. Extending the left leg back, shifting back and forth, forward. Stretching that calf. Then coming back to center, Lifting the leg, rolling the ankle, finding your strength here. We'll start to straighten through that right arm. Thumb up to the sky, helps the shoulder stay in alignment. Inhale here, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale, release, good. And then we'll come up onto the knees, rolling out the wrists. Then inhale, reaching the arms up, knees hip distance apart, slight back bend, and then hands come back down. And then we'll come onto our stomachs. So either coming onto the hip, bring one arm down, then coming down nice and slow as you ease down. We'll start with our Sphinx Pose. Elbows separated, grabbing onto the elbows and then bringing them forward. Fingers spread wide. Neck relaxed. And just pause here. Allowing the hips to open. You can keep a blanket underneath the hips if it's uncomfortable. And then we'll make a pillow with the hands. And then windshield wiper the legs side to side. Massaging the abdomen. And then coming back up into our sphinx. And then we're going to walk our elbows forward slightly. Pushing pressure into the palm, coming into our seal. So we can lift through the chest, open up through the heart. And we'll just take a couple breaths here, feeling the strength building through our hips, our mid-back, our thoracic spine. One more breath. And then slowly coming back down into our swing, sphinx. Crossing the hands, allowing the opposite cheek to come down. Then again, just windshield wipering the legs, releasing any tension in the low back. And then coming back up, we'll place our hands right underneath our shoulder blades so the tops of our shoulders meet our fingertips. And then you're going to untuck the toes. And just gently lifting through the chin and the chest, engaging the mid-back, strengthening through the spine. Two breaths here. Maybe see if you can lift up your hands just using the spine strength. And then slowly coming back down. And then nice and strong, pushing yourself back up into all fours. 
and then we'll come to rest onto our backs, grabbing our strap. You can keep the blanket underneath the hips or the knees, and we'll take this strap right underneath the right foot, the sole of the foot, relaxing the shoulders, and then we can grab onto one strap with each hand, and then we'll lift up the left leg so it's nice and long, about two inches above the mat. Find a lot of length through that leg and then prop it back down. And then just breathe here, keeping the shoulders, the head, the neck relaxed. Maybe tucking the chin slightly to find more length through the cervical spine, top portion of the spine. Hips are rested evenly. And then you can play around with the position of the foot. Point the toe, bring it back. Walk the hands up the strap or leave your elbows down. Whatever allows you to rest. Feeling the sensations through the hamstring, the back of the leg. If you point your toes back, maybe you notice the front of the leg stretches as well. And then place the straps into your right hand, allowing that leg to open out towards the right as the left hand comes towards the left hip, anchors that left hip down. The right leg can come out to whatever degree feels good. Finding a nice stretch to the inner thigh. And then coming back to center, strap comes into the left hand as the leg falls over the body. The right hip comes off the mat, that's okay. Relax the spine, relax the head. And a nice stretch through the right outside leg, the IT band here. My left elbow is rested on the mat. Another breath here. And then lift the leg back up to the sky, release the strap, draw the knee into the chest, hug it in, rolling the right ankle, massaging the ascending colon, moving the knee and the hip around. Noticing if that hip can give a little bit more release with some pressure, with some movement. And then start to extend it long. Pause here for a moment. And then bend the left knee into the chest. Strap goes around the foot and extend the leg up towards the sky. Again, those elbows can be rested. And then we'll lift the right leg, the extended leg near the ground, off the ground a couple inches Point the heel so that leg is nice and long, and then release it down. Taking some deep breaths here. Option of walking your hands up the leg to be a little bit more active to pull it towards you, or just letting your arms relax by your sides. straps come into our left hand, they open up the hip as our right hand anchors the right hip down. My left elbow meets the mat. Again, just coming back to the breath, allowing the straps to hold that leg up, easing into the pressure, stretching without pain, without discomfort. And then gently coming back up to center, holding the straps with the right hand, 
as the left leg comes across the body. Taking three more breaths. Releasing the strap, bending the knee in, rolling the ankle, massaging now the descending colon, and then draw both the knees into your chest, hands to the shins or the kneecaps, allow the knees to fall open, flex the toes back. And draw the knees together and then just rock and roll on the spine gently massaging the lower back maybe going in circles or just side to side and then as you're ready you can start to extend the legs long coming into your final relaxation your shavasana Hands come by your sides, palms up, shoulder blades tuck under the body, chin tucks slightly so you find light through the spine, and then you just relax down. Inhaling to fill the abdominal region with breath, the chest rises. And then exhale, you sink down a little bit deeper into your mat, into your relaxation. Giving yourself these next few minutes for full relaxation. Full healing. for self-love for your whole body. And then we'll wiggle, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, extend the arms up above your head, stretch long. And then we'll draw our knees into the chest, keeping the eyes closed, we'll come off to one side and then meet on our bottoms in the seated posture where we began our practice. Sitting up nice and tall. Growing through the spine, opening up through the chest and just acknowledging how you feel in this moment. knowing you can always come back to your yoga practice, guided or not, just by listening to your breath and taking a moment for yourself. Inhale, reach the arms up. Palms come together and thumbs meet our third eye chakra in between our eyebrows. Connecting our mind to our body and then bring our thumbs to our heart chakra, area of self-love, compassion. And then we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another. Namaste. Thank you everyone. I hope you're enjoying each of these chapters and I hope you continue your practice and grow through your practice and that you find self-healing in ways that you might not have realized before. So, namaste. Thank you again.